Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I just uh, uploaded a video on F-16s uh, being uh, sent to Ukraine, or at least the US approved. Everything is good. As soon as the pilots are trained, they will fly back to Ukraine with F-16s. I hardly can wait because I want to see how those F-16s will perform in real battle against the Russians. The problem is the uh, Americans are sneaky. Uh, they send the F-16s. I'm guessing there will be uh, a lot of them will be shut down, and then they will say, "Well, the F-16s are decommissioned anyway, so they're not good, you know." But uh, what if we would send uh, send F-35s? Then pss, we will just kill all the Russians over there. But they don't send the F-35s for the same reason, uh, because uh, they will be shut down. And then you have buyers uh, watching and say, what the hell? You want F-16? No. F-35? Shit, no, let's go. Uh, God, I have to use the bathroom. Off they go. So what's going on here? Well, the Russians, it seems like they get ready for that. And um, they uh, prepare a new, probably some uh, new missile attack. Why? Because the Ukrainians are reporting that Russia mobilizes tactical aircraft near the front. Well, if you do that, that means you're not afraid you're going to be shot by the Ukrainian air defenses, correct? Uh, that would uh, be logical, but we're not supposed to think that way. We're supposed to think as much as they allow us to think. Ukrainska Pravda. Friday, 18th of August 2023. It's midnight, 15 minutes uh, past midnight. Russia mobilizes tactical aircraft near the front. Ukraine's Air Force reported that Russia has mobilized tactical aircraft on the eastern and southeastern fronts. Eastern front, southeastern front. Right here then, this area. Where is it? Right here. Uh, Air Force of the Armed Forces of Ukraine on Telegram uh, is the source. Quote from Ukraine Air Force, Russian air tactical aircraft have been mobilized on the eastern and southeastern fronts. There is a threat of air attacks on frontline areas. End quote. As of 15 minutes past midnight, air raid warning have been issued in Zaporozhye and Donetsk Oblast. Zaporozhye Oblast, Donetsk Oblast. Okay, so in this area right here, not in Luhansk or in Kherson. So this is information I was uh, pop up up. This is the information coming from the Ukrainians. I expect probably if I'm still up uh, for the next, which usually I am for the next, what time is it? For about seven hours. <laughs> uh, I, I might be making another video or maybe early in the early morning about uh, the attacks this tactical uh, Russian tactical aircraft uh, conducted. As of now, uh, they are getting ready and uh, it seems like the Russians still have them. And if they um, mobilize them or, I don't know, bring them, mobilize them close to the front, that means they're not afraid of being hit by the uh, Ukrainian uh, missiles, whatever they might be, or rockets, or, you know, um, shelling, uh, what, how is yours and other whatever they got. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I will keep you posted as soon as I find anything uh, about that. And I will probably find, as I said, in the next few hours, because the Russians attack in, in during the night time. So I'm assuming by four o'clock right now over there is me. That's about in four hours. I'll be up by in four hours, but I don't know if I will be able to come in front of you and uh, uh, make a video. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.